is heavy. I got one very heavy box here. This is the biggest order I have ever made from the feed. This is my Leadville box that I made. Um, it's not just for the race. It's also gonna be used for some of the rides that I'm doing out there prior to the race. <laughs> I just gotta show you this. Look at this box. Just look at this box. Can you believe this box right now? Like, who needs this much nutrition, right? As you can probably tell, I have a bunch of goos that I'm planning to eat for Leadville. The reason why I've got so many goos is because I feel like they're easy to eat and I wanted a variety of flavors. Now, I also do have some chews in here. Where are the chews? There's some chews in here somewhere. Um, I got these pickle juice shots. I have several hot shots. Um, I got these because I'm pretty convinced I'm going to start to cramp at some point. And then in this bag here, I have my Martin's kit. So I got six of the 160 mixes and six of the 320 mixes. And I finally got the orange bottle. I've wanted this bottle for a while. I got it. I only spent $200 to get it. Awesome. So this is like day one of packing, day one of multiple days. Uh, the reason why is that I'm actually flying to Colorado, but somebody is taking my bike that's driving out there. So I am packing a gear bag of stuff that I don't want to put on the plane uh, for him to take as well. Uh, I've got two tires. I've got some recovery mix, some empty bottles, a whole big bag of my nutrition that you saw. I've got some torque wrenches. Um, there's some sealant down in the bottom. And then like uh, other stuff like CO2 cartridges that I'm pretty sure you can't take on the plane at all. Packing is super stressful. Today is the 28th and it is four in the morning. I'm all packed up and it's time to fly out to Colorado. I am leaving out of the Paducah airport and I'm flying up to Chicago and then from Chicago to Denver. So like I said, it's very early, so I'm not really awake yet, but I'm gonna get all my bags in the car and go get on the plane. In the stillness somewhere above, the city lights you're falling in love. Still aware you know it is true. Got my bag checked, sitting in the airport. There's literally not another soul here at 5 a.m. Can't go through TSA yet because they open, they're open already, but their door's still locked, so the waiting begins. All right, I made it to Chicago and I'm about to get on the plane. I literally got off my plane and made it to mine as soon as it started boarding. So time to get to Colorado. to Denver now to get picked up by the shuttle made it to Copper Mountain I'm at uh, the condo here and my condo is up there there. So I've got to get up these stairs. 
with this big backpack and this huge suitcase. Uh, the suitcase weighs 48 and a half pounds. The backpack probably weighs like 30. The uh, stairs prove challenging. Oh God, just, just as I thought, almost there. This place is beautiful. Um, it's like 72 degrees and I'm freezing. There we go. It is a truly awesome condo. I'm, we're gonna, this is gonna be perfect for us, I believe. Uh, here we have our living room with our sectional. The kitchen, as you can see, is plenty big. There's plenty of counter space, uh, plenty of room. We're planning to get groceries and cook. So we have plenty of room for that. This is my favorite part. So this is our patio that we have here. This is the Super B ski lift right behind us. As you can see, this is an awesome view. Wow, what a beautiful, what a beautiful place to be. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna come back to Kentucky slash Illinois. So we're gonna ride over and get some mac and cheese from the Mac and Cheese Festival. How's that mac and cheese? Mm. It's legit. The Mac and Cheese Fest was obviously pretty cool. Um, I just went with Lindsay and Dustin to a grocery store over in Frisco and got some groceries. Since we're gonna be here for two weeks, obviously uh, we don't wanna eat out. Yay, Frank's here. Right. How was your drive? Perfect. You want me to help you carry stuff up? It is cold. I just spent like the past hour updating Frank on our plans, our training rides, what we're gonna be doing basically for the next two weeks. So I'm pretty tired. I'm finishing editing the video from today. So this is where I'm gonna end the video. Um, we've already got a ride plan tomorrow in Leadville and hopefully I'll be doing a video every single day while we're here. So you can definitely track us that way. So yeah, check back tomorrow for the next video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.